Track Wrestling with Justin Abdu, head wrestling coach of Simon Fraser, four-time national champion, NAIA national champion for Simon Fraser. Let's start with that, winning four titles. Is that a big deal to you? Wasn't a big deal at the time. In college, I had my aspirations set on some more lofty goals than that. Um, didn't reach a lot of them, reached some. But as I look back on my career, I, I realize what a special thing it is to do. You, you kind of got to go flawless through college on national tournament playoff time. And I managed to do that from 90 to 93. So yeah, I'm pretty proud of it. You wrestled a guy named Kale Sanderson, who was a four-time NCAA champion. What was that like? I did. Well, I was, once again, it didn't seem like a big deal at the time because I, I, he, was a, he was in his sophomore year, I believe. So he was a one-time national champ and he was probably 20 or 21 and I was 28. So I was expecting myself to win. And then uh, I was back in flip phone days. So I, I had a flip phone and after I had won the match, it lit up from a bunch of Friends of mine, the U.S. college guys, saying I beat a future legend. So, yeah, he was a kid, and I was on my way out, getting trying to hold on for one Olympics. So, it, it's it happened a long time ago, and it's kind of a cool thing to have on your resume. But I wish I would have beat him somewhere where it counted, not the Sun Kissed Open. When you got recruited, you're from Canada. You decided yep. to stay in the country and go to Simon Fraser, which yep. is in Canada. What was it like to get recruited by other colleges, and why did you decide not to go NCAA route? Uh, well, it was, I got a lot of attention from the U.S. university system because I had done really well at the Espoir Nationals in the U.S. when I was a junior in high school, and then I, I got second when I was a senior in high school. And uh, back then, once again, there wasn't a lot of YouTube, so I knew what I knew from the magazines, and I wanted to wrestle at Iowa or Oklahoma State. And uh, Iowa didn't recruit me, and Oklahoma State stopped after part way into the process because they signed a guy named Ray Brinzer. So I did go on five visits to the States to some pretty good schools, met some awesome coaches, but my very last visit was out to the West Coast of Canada. Uh, it was April, it was beautiful out there in the oceans and the mountains, and it was an American coach named Mike Jones, who was a two-time NCAA runner-up, and uh, just had a lot of trust in him and faith in him, and I wanted to wrestle for him, and it turned out to be a pretty good decision for me. When along the way did you realize you had a biting, witty personality? Oh, it depends who you ask on that one, because um, I got, I get about 50% 50 50 of the people think I got a biting, witty personality, and 50% think I'm just downright annoying. My wife's in that second 50%. How know. about the girls on your team? They're about 50-50 as well, yeah. 50. yeah. So we're at the <laughs> inaugural Cliff Keen National Collegiate yeah. Women's Wrestling Championships. You are a one-point favorite. You and the tournament rankings mm -hmm. are leading the field right now. Does that mean anything to you to win the first one? Uh, well, it, I think for us, if we could win the first one, I think that would be a real, you know, you know, a real feather in our cap. And I think there would be a certain amount of significance to it in the fact that uh, our our mentor, Mike Jones, who started the program up there on men's but also on women's, was a real pioneer in women's wrestling. He had women wrestling with the men's team in the mid '90s. So if we could take the first one, I think that that would be something we could be very proud of. But I mean, I've told you this already, I don't put a lot of stock in the rankings they do. I like the ones that they put out on Sunday morning after the finals. Those are the most accurate ones, so, yeah. What's it like coaching both men's and women's team? You're head coach of both. Um, I, I love doing it. Um, and every year I, I give a thought to maybe removing myself from one or the other, or focusing more on one or the other. But then every September, I, I just fall in love with the process again. I would say it gets really busy. February is a real busy month. February, March, regionals and nationals. But uh, yeah, I really enjoy doing it. But I, there's no possible way I could do it without the help that I have. I've surrounded myself with a group of great coaches, both on the men's side and on the women's side, and we work together, which I think you see from a lot of the programs that have both teams, that the, the coaching staffs work together. What's it like being the only non-American team in this division? Uh, I never really think about it like that until we go far away and we see some people that uh, haven't been to Canada or have never been to the West Coast. But I think it, we have a, an interesting group of gals. We have uh, most of our girls from the States are from the West Coast, a lot from California, and then our Canadian girls are from all over. So it's just nice to be able to have girls challenging for spots on both rosters. You know, it's double exciting. We're getting excited about the U.S. Olympic trials. A month ago, we were excited about the Canadian Olympic trials. So. We get to cheer for both both squads. You have a great story with two sisters or a pair of sisters, the Gondinas Gonzalez sisters. Yeah. Great story. I'm going to let you explain how you got them here and what their story is. Well, they they were late into the game of wrestling and they came to Canada when they were 
um, young girls. They started wrestling late. I think Carla started in her senior year of high school and Anna started in grade 11, which junior year of high school. So I'm doing a little Canadian American for you, translation. Um, but they're both just extremely tough girls and they love wrestling. They've fallen in love with it and they're <coughs> extremely hard workers. But I think just the, the, the journey they took to get here, uh, when they're not on the mat, they're just, they're, they're a bunch of laughs and they're, they're very lighthearted. They're fun people to have around. They're great teammates and they're, they're easy to coach. You've had a couple other girls been in that high level competition, Olivia Fisk, Alex Hedrick. Does this seem like a little bit of just not a letdown, but just maybe not as big of a deal because they've been to the highest level? No, I think our girls, they're, they're, they're close, they're tight. They want to do something as a team. Um, we, we, we really were excited about having the opportunity to wrestle in the national duels this year. And obviously that didn't come to fruition for us. It was close, but we didn't get what we wanted. So I think one of the reasons that we're good is because we got girls that are, have higher expectations than this. But when we come here, this is the focus. And uh, we come together as a team and really support each other. And there's more of a team vibe than you get at a US Open or a international tournament. So, Yep. It's fun to coach college wrestling, whether it's men or, or women. When do you think this will be NCAA sanctioned? Well, I, I believe it's 40 teams as they need, and I think we're sitting with the new ones coming in around uh, mid-30s. So it's growing like crazy. I, I think I read somewhere recently, I mean, Sally Roberts could tell you absolutely everything you need to know because she's, she's the one who's she's banging on the drum. But I think it's the fastest growing sport for women in high school in America. And Canada is strong in, in, in women's wrestling as well. So. I mean, I could see this being 50 plus in five years. There's seven hockey teams here at Adrian. Does that make you proud? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I love hockey, as you know. So my third favorite sport behind wrestling and then golf, which I'm terrible at, but I love to play. All right, Justin Abdu, yeah. thanks for the time. Thanks, Kyle. Appreciate